One of the surprise teams around Europe this season is Girona in La Liga. They're currently sitting top of the Liga table, one point clear of Real Madrid. Today we're going to test out Michel's Girona tactics. We're going to test out with three teams as we normally do and we're going to see exactly how this tactic plays out in real life and in Football Manager. So here we are with the first team we are testing this out with and it is Aberdeen in Scotland. And as you can see on the left hand side, we have won the Scottish Premiership, one point clear of Rangers and six points ahead of Celtic. Taking a look down the left hand side, you can see that Papi Habib Gay has 24 goals, most assists is a share between Conor Barron and Graham Shinney with 12 apiece. In terms of the team stats, we've scored 73 goals, which is the third best in the league. We've only conceded 22 goals, which is the best in the league. We are tight at the back and we are good going forward. 29 yellow cards, second lowest, and we have had zero red cards with this tactic. We'll get straight in, we'll take a look at the league table in more detail, and you can see here it is 25 wins, 8 draws, 5 losses, goal difference of 51. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Look at team stats with third for most goals, as we saw 73 goals just behind the top two range of Celtic, as to be expected. In terms of shots, third highest there with 440 shots overall. Few shots against, again, we're tight at the back, we've only let 261 shots go by us. In terms of pass completion rate, sitting second with 88%, in terms of possession, second again 60%. 60% possession with Aberdeen in Scotland is very, very good. Most dribbles made, we are top, 667. Fewest conceded as we saw, 22, and most clean sheets with 21. Taking a look at the player stats, we can see that, as we saw, Pabi Pabi Bay, fifth top scorer, 17 goals, and Duke with 11. In terms of most assists, Graeme Shinney, top of the leaderboard with 12. Absolutely brilliant as he is predominantly a fullback or a defensive midfielder. In terms of most shots, we've not got anybody there. Most man in the match is Duke with five. Fuse conceded is for us Kel Roos in third with 22 clean sheets. And as we saw, sorry, 22 goals conceded. And he has the most clean sheets with 21. Six more than Jack Buckland from Rangers. Looking at the rest of the competitions, we were knocked out unfortunately by low league opposition in both the Scottish Cup and the Via Play Scottish League Cup, being Wraith Rovers in the fifth round of the Scottish Cup and Queen's Park in the Scottish League Cup second round. To the Europa League, fortunately we lost 5-4 on aggregate to Slavia Prague, which meant we dropped into Europa Conference League group stages. We managed to get through the group stages and in the knockout playoff rounds, if we take a look, we were bested by Ludgeritz 4-2 on aggregate. If we take a look and we'll see how we did in the group stage, we were in Group E, with Fiorentina, Lugano and Stoiber Arrest, we finished with a bang symmetrical result near enough of three wins, three losses. The three wins came against both against Stoiber Arrest and the away leg against Lugano, and the three losses, two to Fiorentina and one to Lugano at home, meaning we finished nine points behind Fiorentina, but we managed to finish above Lugano, and that meant we were in the knockout playoff round. In terms of player stats, as we know, Papi Pugier, 24 goals, Duke with 12, 9th of Vicente, Connor Barn with 8 with his 12 assists. You've joined assists with Graham Shinney with Vicente with 7, Leighton Clarkson again with 7. Into the data hub now and we can see we managed to score 1.92 goals per game from a non-penalty expected goals of 1.53, conceded nearly 0.5 per game which is absolutely phenomenal. Then if we look at the team performance, we will have a look and we'll just have a look at what the XG table will show us. In terms of the XG table, 64 goals expected, we managed to score 73, we were expected to get 72 points, we actually finished on 83 and we were expected to finish second but we have managed to win it and we have finished in first place. So there we have it, with Aberdeen we have managed to win the Premiership, the first time a team from outside of Celtic and Rangers have won the top flight since Aberdeen won it back in 1985. So now we'll go on to our next team and we will take a look at Walsall in League 2 in England and see if we've managed to better our results here. We are back with Walsall and predict to finish in 18th place, we have managed to win League 2. We have managed to get promoted up to the next division and we will take a full look at the league table in just a moment but looking at the stats you can see that Ote managed to score 15 goals, Ross Thierry with 11 assists. In terms of the team stats, we had the same most goals scored with 86, best defensive record with only conceding 45, the fifth worst yellow card rate of 49, and we didn't have a single red card, just like with Aberdeen. Taking a look at the full league table, we can see we won 27 games, drew 11, lost 8, goal difference of 41, managed to finish 2 points above stop 4, and we were phenomenal. We ran away with this league. We'll take a look. We didn't actually start too well, and we were still sitting 10th at around game week, what was that, 17? And then we just skyrocketed up. I said we ran away with the league, we didn't really. We sat in second for a large portion of the season, a couple of 
blips up into first, but then the last two games of the season we were first and we could not be caught. I'll take a look at the team stats so we can see most goals second with 86 behind Stockport, most shots. We're actually surprisingly not quite we're not in the top eight for most shots despite the fact we scored so many goals. Few shots against we are there fourth. 466 as we said with Aberdeen this is the tight this is a tight tactic defensively this possession second with 59% best pass completion rate 88% and fourth most dribbles us with 746 nearly 100 more in second place than MK Dons Fewest conceded as we saw with 45 in the 46 matches and most clean sheets with 17 now in terms of the player stats most goals we do not have anybody in the top most assists we do not have anybody up there most player of the matches though Tom Knowles joint top with seven. There's the most shots, nobody there. Most key passes, Ryan Stark with 94, sitting in third place. Best pass completion, nobody there. Most dribbles made, nobody there. Most tackles won, nobody there. And Owen Evans, most clean sheets with 17. And he was sixth in terms of goals conceded with 45. So as you can see, in terms of player stats, not as dominant as we were with Aberdeen, but that doesn't matter. We have managed to finish top of the table. In terms of squad stats, we can see there's four players with 10 or more goals. Jack Erling, Isaac Hutchinson, Tom Knowles, and Aramide Ote. And with the assist numbers, we can see Ross Tierney with 11, Isaac Hutchinson with 10, and a whole host of players getting around the high single digits. We'll now switch to the data hub. We can see here, we managed to get 1.87 goals per game from instead of 1.35. In terms of goals conceded, just again under 1.98. Absolutely phenomenal. And looking at team performance, you can see we're expected to get 71 goals, we managed to get 86. Expected points finish on 71, we managed to get 92. And we were expected to finish in fifth, but we have bettered that by quite some distance and finished in first place. So there we have it. Again, another great season. We won the league with Aberdeen, and we have won the league and won promotion with Walsall. So we'll go straight to our next and final team, and that is Hirona. And we will see exactly how this tactic fares with the team it was built for. And here we have it, the main team. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it three league titles out of three, but we have massively overperformed. As Hirona, we're expected to finish in 16th place. We've done much better than that. We've finished fourth. We've qualified for the Champions League. 77 points, 11 clear of fifth. So we've had a good buffer to not drop out the Champions League spaces. In terms of player stats, Christian Suani with 27 goals, the ex-Middlesbrough man, I remember, yep, ex-Middlesbrough man has been lethal for us, not just this season, but if you look, 229 appearances overall, including this season, for Hirono with 135 goals scored. Uh, Pablo Torre, top average rating, most assists, Victor Tagangov, and we've got most player of the match, Pablo Torre and Ivan Martin. In terms of the team stats, second best in goals scored with 83, fifth best for goals conceded with 45, Second worst this time with yellow cards of 61 and we've got a red card this season with Hirona. Looking at league table in more detail, we have managed to win 24 games, draw 5, lose 9, goal difference of 38, only 5 points behind Atletico Madrid in third. In terms of team stats, we are second with 83 goals scored, just behind Barcelona with 87, most shots we are top with 608, few shots against we are sitting at 353. Tennis possession a lot worse this time. We are not actually in the top here. We are actually sitting with 48% possession this time. So the lowest we've seen so far. Best compassion rate not there. Most tackles not there. Most dribbles we are sitting at 6,551. Few goals conceded. We are doing well. We are in fifth place with 45. And most clean sheets we are joint fifth with 11. In terms of player stats now. Most goals. Shoani second place only to Robert Lewandowski. In terms of most assists. Victor is there. Joint second with a whole host of players with 10. Most shots, Stuani is in 4th with 81 and Victor with 72 in 6th place. Most of the matches, Ivan Martin sitting there with 6th, 4th and Pablo Torre in 6th place with 5. There's a few conceded, Pilo Gazniga is in 7th place conceding 41 goals which means he is the joint 5th top clean sheets with 11. Taking a look at the player stats for this one. Take a look, 27 goals for Stuani, Pablo Torre 13, Victor with 13, Savio 7 and another whole range of players scoring and chipping in. In terms of assists, Victor with 11, Miguel Gutierrez with 8, Pablo Torre with 7, Ivan Martin with 7 and then again a whole list of players chipping in with the assists here. In terms of the data hub, we'll take a look, 2.18 goals per game, absolutely brilliant to see more than 2, conceded per game slightly more at 1.18. But we are in a better league coming up against Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Sociedad, Villarreal, Valencia, Betis, you know, all these teams can score goals to play really good fluid football. We're expected to score, but we've managed to finish higher than 
half the teams I've just mentioned. We managed to finish in fourth place with Hirona. In terms of the team performance, we can see we're expected to score 81 goals, managed to score 83. Expected points at 69, we got 77. We're expected to finish third, unfortunately, fourth, but still. We're meant to finish 16th at the start of the season. We've managed to finish in fourth. So we're going to take a look again, just looking at the main page. Fourth place finish is absolutely phenomenal, especially when you see we are above Sostad, we're above Bilbao, we're above Valencia, above Sevilla, above Villarreal. And Betis have actually been relegated in this tactic experiment, which I wasn't expecting. But now we'll jump ahead and we will look at the tactic itself. We'll show you the base setup of it. We'll go through all the instructions and then we'll show you what it looks like actually in possession and how it plays just like I interpret it does in real life. So here we have it. We are setting up in a 4-3-3. First of all, I'll run through the team instructions and then we will get into play instructions and then how it looks in possession. So start with the positive mentality. We're going with a shorter pass and we're playing it out of defence, running out of defence, working the ball into the back box. We are being more expressive, playing through the middle, but we are overlapping down both wings. We're also playing fairly narrow. In the transition, we're taking short kicks, distributing it to the centre backs, we're distributing it quickly and we're countering and we're counter pressing. In terms of out of possession, we have the higher line of engagement, we have a higher defensive line, we're preventing the goalkeeper distribution and we are trying to press more often as well as we're asking us, ourselves to step up so we are pressing high up the pitch here. In terms of player roles, we've got a sweeper keeper on support, we have an inverted fullback on the right hand side on defend, we've got a ball playing defender on the right just to stay as standard. The left side ball playing defender we have dribble more and stay wider, I'll show you why in a wee second. And on the left hand side we have the inverted wing back on attack. In the defensive midfield, we have deep lying playmaker on defend, box walks midfielder on the right of the two, get further forward, moving channels marking tighter. Central attacking midfielder on the left of the two, roaming from position, and the two wingers who are key here. The right hand sided winger is roamed from position, and the one on the left is cutting inside with the ball and roaming from position, and up front we have a target forward set as standard. So there we have it. I will now move to this, which is how it kind of shapes up in possession. So, as you can see, this DM here, this will be the inverted wing back on attack, who will move forward and cut inside to form a kind of double pivot in the defensive midfield slot. This left side centre back was on stay wider, so he'll move out to the left while the inverted full back comes in to make a back three just in front of the goalkeeper. The central midfielder on attack obviously will push further up to make like a three in behind, but also the box to box midfielder will just shuttle between the two boxes. So this needs to be your most energetic player. And in the attacking phase, he will be here. So it'll be more like a 3 2 4 1 when you are attacking. And in the defensive phase, obviously, he'll be further back, he'll drop back, and then they'll drop back into the 4 3 3. So there we have it. That is the 4 3 3. Michel's Girona tactic. Please leave a like, comment down below what tactic you would like to see me recreate next, share this with your friends and subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time.